I'm making meatloaf today. So I'm at the store shopping to find the ingredients for it. I'm at all these. It's cheap. <laughs> I just need one bell pepper. They got a whole pack here. Oh my God. I have no heart. Um, okay, I'm back. I had to get off the phone real quick because um, my hands is full. I just thought I was gonna go in and get a hamburger and that's it. <laughs> but I need, I got a little bit of milk because kids love cereal, they eat cereal, you know, for, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But, um, and snack. But so therefore I had to turn around and put the phone down because I was running out of room. I'm hot, you see I'm sweating. I'm psh. I was went out of room, hand room. It was just only me. They had um tur ground up turkey. Which I used to um cook my spaghetti. I used to I used to eat healthy like that, you know, used to. But um my husband he you know he started complaining about it because you know I used to sneak into it because I know everybody don't eat it and I did it for years and he found out. And all of a sudden he didn't like my spaghetti. Which I thought that was stupid. But um I should have got it anyway. But if I had a car, I think I would have got it though. But ground up turkey, it's been so long. But, so I gotta go to Walmart, which I hate to. Mine's been very busy at Walmart. So, I'm about to head down to Walmart or even Kroger's. I'll probably go to Walmart because they got the big old $18 log, $20 log. So, yeah, I'm about to do me some uh, homemade old fashioned meatloaf. So, stay tuned. Okay, I'm back from the store. So, so therefore, I'm ready to cook the spaghetti. And that spaghetti, god damn it, I got a taste for spaghetti. Somebody got a taste for steak, and but I decided to make meatloaf. Okay, I got all the greens for the meatloaf, so I'm ready to um, go mix it all in. Um, it's kind of late, actually, because, um, you know, I was doing a little, little this and that. So, therefore, I'm going to get up and start cooking. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big procrastinator. But it's not I'm a procrastinator, it's just that I was busy. So, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get to cooking. Okay, I'm finally back. I'm making some homemade meatloaf. And it's kind of late, so. Because I was cleaning up, bleaching out my kitchen and stuff like that. And doing some um, laundry. So, well, I'm back, though. So, I have this much hamburger. Hamburger went up in the store, too, by the way. So, I'm just going to cut just a little bit. Well, it might seem like a lot to you. I should do this last though, actually. How was it? I'm thinking. Okay. Gotta wash this off. A little bit more hamburger. Prana, please leave him alone. Let him play. My hands a lot. Ooh, I made it. Okay. Well, I'm sick of suicide. I'm not quite ready for that. Okay. So that's about like a maybe a seven pound hamburger right there. Rinse this off. Toss my excess in the sink because we got a garbage disposal. Okay. Cut some pepper up. Green pepper. Okay. That's, that's my 
green pepper. And my onion. You just basically need um, green pepper, onions. Um, I put my own seasoning in it. But I'm also going to put some uh, meatloaf seasoning. So I'm cutting the onion. Can't put too much onions in it. I like to taste my vegetables. Okay, that's all the cutting up I need to do. Okay. That's what I'll set out to. Okay. Got my meatloaf. I got some eggs. Two eggs. supposed to beat them but I don't beat them don't beat my eggs no I don't eggs with my hands okay so I'm gonna just season back it then I'm gonna add all that seasoning just a little mustard powder One teaspoon, teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of uh, salt powder, give or take. Ooh. Two teaspoons. Teaspoon of everything. For flavor. You can't go wrong with powder. You know what I'm saying? You can't put too much in that powder and use powder. You do it according to your taste. And uh, what do I have? Okay. I got some crackers, but I'm going to use some Italian, um, Italian style breadcrumbs. So about one fourth or half, this half cup. Hell, full cup, let's go. <laughs> okay, we got that. And then what else we need? What else we need? Oh, oh. Okay, and also I put a little sausage in there. This little Italian sausage. Just a little bit, half of it. Okay, I got half of that. And then, oh, I gotta take off my ring. Okay. Um, what else? I'm gonna wait to put this stuff in there. Then we're gonna put some milk in there too, though. I said one cup of milk. Oh, maybe a cup and a half. About one cup right now. I like to um, use quite a bit of milk because I don't like no dry meat lard. You don't want to put too much where it comes in there because it's going to be real thick. I remember that. Oh, this stuff is cold. Woo! It's cold. <laughs> and I can't see my pepper. I don't know. I can't really smell all this stuff I put in there. It is really best to beat your egg, seriously, because, you know, I can see my egg. And I'm gonna put more milk in there too. Okay, I'm gonna get messy. I'm gonna go use this cutting board again right now. Me and Lola very messy. If I was thinking I could've used some gloves. Where I'm at, okay. <laughs> I have no helpers. Nobody helping me. So 
I do this to make sure I'm mixing up my ingredients and the, the sauces I put in there. Ooh. Oh, and the, oh gosh. I like barbecue sauce. They don't like barbecue sauce. Ooh. I like some barbecue sauce in mine. One minute they say they like it, they don't. Too. More milk, about a half a cup of milk. I'm gonna do what? Now I'm just adding extra stuff in there just because. That ain't gonna work. Oh, I ain't use that yet, I don't think. Just a, just a little bit. Just a little bit of peso. It's peso. Oh. Okay, just a little bit more pepper. I'm gonna blend it up. After I blend it up, I'm gonna make some um, tomato sauce in there and then it should be ready to mold, okay? It's a big meatloaf. Yeah, it loosened up a lot. I sure it did. It was a lot of meat, so I gotta use more milk. bread comes that too much. And you gotta remember too, the milk kind of dilutes the, uh, the flavor. So, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is how I like it, like the it's like milky, but it's gonna soak in though. Cause I don't like no stuff on um, hamburger. I mean meatloaf. Go to Golden Crab, you all stuff, you know, salad. Y'all stiff. There you go. Okay. I wasn't expecting this. Not that big.
is like gotta mix that up. I don't care. This pan, it'll work. Can you see? I'll be washing my hands a lot. I told you guys that, huh? I put cheese in my hands. Leave a, see, I leave an opening. A little. Mm -hmm. People open kids love it like that. This is a series of Vermont seriously cheddar, sharp cheddar cheese. It's naturally aged. I like the crocodile cheese because it's, it's has a unique taste to it, but they didn't have any. So I'm just gonna stick the whole stick in here. I got this from Walmart. There you go. Push it down. I'm going to dress it with some. Like, dress it with some oregano on top of it. Just cover it up with oregano. You know what I forgot? I forgot to put my uh, tomato paste in. It's okay. It is all right. Dang. It's all right. It's all right to have a good time. It's all right. <laughs> and this, it looks like a cake, but you know what? It's going to eat, get eaten. It sure is. Because I don't want to use. Actually, I don't know what I did with the tell you just my roasting pan. Where's my? Am I? I don't know where's it at. I've been kind of packing, so I don't know where things at. I was packing, but then again, I unpacked. <laughs> I said, like, "Wait a minute, I want to cook," so I unpacked. So. so this is how my meatloaf is. I'm just molding it. Then molding the shape. Just molding the meatloaf. I'm trying to shape the way I want to. Ooh. My paper towel done. Paper towel done. Okay, well, I am done with my meatloaf. This is how it looks. Um. Now I gotta do my potatoes and all that stuff, but I gotta get ready to go. Meatloaf. You can see all the onions. You can't really see pepper in there. You barely can. Barely. All that seasoning I put in, you should be able to see it, but this is the meatloaf right here. It looks like this side. I need to get indented more. I want that perfect look. But yeah, that's how you do a meatloaf. Simple as that. One, two, three. Okay, I have it in the oven. So it's going to bake for like mm, 45 minutes. And then I'm going to top it with some ketchup. And then I'll be back. Okay, this is the meatloaf after 30 minutes. You see it's not done in the middle. It's not done in the middle. So i got to give it a little bit more time. So actually I might just cover it up. That's what I'm going to do. Because some reason it's well, I know why, but it's just not cooking fast enough like I thought it would be. So another, hmm, another thirty minutes. I want to make sure it's well done. Meatloaf is done right here. 
I gotta let it mold though, you know what I'm saying? You see this crusted cheese? The cheese had oozed out and stuff. Yeah, I had to put the bro on to make sure it got done. But it took a while because I guess it was so much hamburger compact together. Then I did homemade mashed potatoes. Red mashed potatoes at that. It's so good. It's mixed with sour cream and stuff. Butter, salt, and pepper. Um, and then I also have this macaroni and cheese. Yes. So dinner is served.